Hello and welcome guys, Armageddon VDC here today with a tutorial on how to create this hipster intro that I've uploaded some time ago. It's basically a text animation with some um, burnt film overlay effects going on right there and yeah, I'm going to give you the burnt film overlays later on in this tutorial, you can download it in the description and yeah, I'm going to show you how to animate this kind of font right here or type and basically how I did this whole thing right here. So yeah, let's just start in Photoshop, create a new document, full HD 1920 by 1080p and click on OK, double click here to unlock our background. Actually, we don't need it anymore, we can delete it later on, but yeah. So at first, let's grab our ellipse tool drag out a nice ellipse and we're going to use three fonts right here in this um, logo. Yeah, normally you shouldn't use three fonts, but just a thing of taste right here. So I'm going to type out hipster just like in the video. So I used Nevis for the top font. Let's increase the kerning. There you go. Also, you can see it's pretty, there's some pretty weird stuff going on right here. So um, use the text tool, click in here. Uh, and while having this one selected or text font, press A to get the direct selection tool, this white thing right here. And then you can see that you're able to drag onto those little black points that you can see right here. And then you can kind of grab these, hold down shift so it brings the text right on top of our shape right here. And there we go, that's it for the first part. Now, whoops, what's happening? Now we're going to make the next thing. Therefore I used Gotham. I think this one was book and this one was bold, nah, too thick. Yeah, there we go. Now decrease the kerning again, bring it down here, make it smaller, everything pretty basic. This won't be a long tutorial or even a complex one. I've already prepared some new tutorials, pretty epic ones. So yeah, be prepared for the next two weeks or one week. I'm currently not having so much time since I'm working for the university for the finals. All right, so I've just typed in California and we are using the script Dolly script. It's only a personal use script. You can achieve it to work for it commercially. So you can sell it to the logos and stuff like that. So yeah, pretty great front. And for this font, it's very important that you're finding the right kerning uh, right here. <laughs> Actually, zero is perfect. You can see that there's a little kind of edge right here. And if your kerning is wrong, that looks really weird. So yeah, bring this down to zero again. There we go, zoom out. And now click in here, hold on Alt and Shift while dragging this down and type since 2015. Since we are in the new year right now. Oh, actually we have to leave it the same size, otherwise it will look weird. Now grab our hipster thingy, make it bigger, drag it out while holding down shift so it constrains its proportions. And what I want to do is give it even more kerning. There we go. Now let's get the California. Bring it right around here. Now delete the background and our ellipse. Group everything up, press Ctrl A so the whole document is selected and bring it to the middle. So it's very important now, or even, I don't know anymore, in previous versions, it was in previous versions of um, After Effects in Photoshop, it was important that you are not having your text in a layer or in a, uh, in a folder, sorry. So there we go, that's the basic type that we're going to use for this logo and now let's save it out 
save as, go to desktop, let's type in, oh, first of all, give it Photoshop logo. There we go. Now let's hop into After Effects, Control N, make a new composition, uh, yeah, composition, 1920 full HD again. I don't like this weird number right here, so make it 30 FPS. Now double click in here, go to your desktop, select the logo, and it's important that you're not choosing footage right here, you have to choose composition. Click on open, and there you're going to be asked, do you want the layer options to be editable layer styles? So click yes, don't merge them. Now open this one, drag everything from here, inside here, right click, convert to editable text, and now Let's see where this window is. Character, character, character. Where do we have it? There. Make it white. And there we go. We just imported our font. And the great thing about this now, I don't really like working with fonts and stuff. And After Effects is just horrible for me. So I'm just preferring Illustrator or Photoshop. So yeah. Um, the cool thing about this now is press Control T. Oops. Control T or just T, I don't know anymore how it's in After Effects. I'm using so many programs right now. Yeah, Control T. And the cool thing about this now, the text is editable. You can type in everything you want. That's pretty great. And yeah, so let me check what animations we did in this video. Well, the top part kind of fades in. How about the HC LLC comes down from the top. The California is the important thing in this tutorial, of course. And yeah, so let's recreate this real quick. I'm just going to grab the, or start with the hipster thingy. Therefore I'm pressing P to get the position keyframe. Then I'm going to drag this out right here bring this down, press T to get the opacity, drag this keyframe out, make it to zero from here, and there we go. Now, you click on hipster, press U, so you get, uh, or the layer panel shows you every single um, option that you keyframed right now. So now we're going to choose the position keyframe, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. So that's basically changing the curve or the animation type to a more smooth one. Looks very great. As you can see, this one will be just linear. Doesn't look too good, but yeah, let's check this out. Okay, this fades in. Now let's do the same stuff with our HC LLC. Go to P. Right around here, position. Go back. Oops. Bring it up. Press T. Keyframe it. Right around here. Zero. There we go. If we ramp preview this, it's extremely slow. So. Yeah, way too slow, so grab everything, control A, press U to see all the keyframes that you've already created and select them, bring them in. Also the position of this one, oops. Right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. Yeah really smooth. So, and that it loops even faster, we're going to drag this to the front. And yeah, so far so good. Now let's make this one real quick. That was just a simple blur from zero to 100. Just like this. And I think the hipster one is starting way too I don't want to see it. Oops, wrong layer again. 
I want to bring this up a bit more. So let's see how this looks. Mm, let's drag this, bring it out a bit more. Just like that. Okay, fine. So that's it for the basic animation. Now let's focus on California. So therefore we have to grab make a mask above it then give the mask a stroke and then we're going to animate the stroke that's going to follow like this and the mask is slowly revealing our california shape right here so yeah press g to get the pen tool make sure you have your california selected and then start going like around the shape how you would in real life just like Oh yeah, I remember I didn't like this part. Because my A looks weird in real life. <laughs> Just like that. Oops. Okay, there we go, just finished to create this mask right here. So let's go to this one right here. Facts and presets, stroke, apply it on here. Mask one. So we now increase it. Let's see how that looks. As you can see, that's basically the effect right here. And there we go, switch it to review original image. Go to the end and now you can see how it looks. Wait, I'm just quickly going to animate it. Okay, from here. Oops, not a T. We're going to from start zero, click on this little time watch right there, press U so you can see what's happening. Go to the end, crank it up all the way to 100. Zoom out and let's see how that looks. There you go. Oops, is there something missing? Let me see real quick. Oh, looks pretty fine. Maybe we can make it make it even faster and start with the other stuff. So yeah, there we go. I really like the outcome. Looks pretty good, and that's basically it. And if you don't like how it looks right around here, as you can see, pretty sharp edges. You have to adjust the mask from here. It's pretty editable. You can just drag it out, adjust it from anywhere. Don't know why it's not working right now because ah because the stroke is really thick I guess yeah as you can see you can adjust it from here and yeah it's basically just some tweaking um, adjusting the anchor points tweaking the brush size and the hardness like for example if you don't like how hard it looks or how soft it looks you can even make it much more harder so kind of yeah. Just your personal preference. I'd really like it on 79, so leave it like this. And yeah, now I'm going to show you the little thing I did around it. I went into the internet 
<laughs> and for this purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to grab a wallpaper from interface lift.com, save it to my downloads, bring it in, go to here, bring it behind it. There you go. And I've prepared for you those two burn film effects right here that I'm often using. I'm just going to bring them in. Bring them over the wallpaper. And sadly, they're not full HD, but that doesn't really matter because it's just the, the blurred out colors that are going to matter. So yeah, press S for the scale, crank it up all the way so it's going completely around our um, composition. Now toggle switch the modes and bring it to add or however, whatever thing you like. Also lighten looks very good. As you can see, but I guess I should stop right here. So shrink this down. and bring in our second effect also make this one lighten see how this looks let us start from here i think the beginning isn't oh actually it looks pretty good yep i'm going to, well, i'm going to leave it like this but what i don't like is that california starts at 100% bluer uh, opacity so bring this down maybe make it faster yep and now let's bring in hipster a bit further too much And to set the focus on our logo, I'm just going to put over a, oops. <laughs> Gosh, and blur, bring it over, crank it up. And there we go. That's basically the whole effect. And yeah, you will find the burn film effect overlays in the description. You're going to find this template in the description. Although this template won't bring you too much since you have to adjust the layer mask here itself. But yeah, well, I'm going to see if I'm going to put it in the description. But of course, you're going to get the burnt film effects. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And leave a like subscribe and please write some more suggestions about tutorials in the, disc uh, in the in the comment box so i really have no idea what you guys want to see next there's going to be some low poly stuff there's going to be more flat design and actually animation with cinema 4d modeling with cinema 4d or maybe also 3d max and some visual effects tutorials and i've yeah this list really continues but i need to know what you guys want to see next so yeah have a nice day, Armageddon videos.